let's look at what one of these circuits does. Uh, we can actually figure out everything we need to know by referencing those basic truth tables um, for our logic gates. So this guy's an AND gate, and his inputs are this line A and this line B. That means that coming out this side of it, uh, that gate is A and B, because its inputs were A, B, and it's an AND gate. Now, if I look at this gate, this is an OR gate. One of my inputs is that A and B we just drew. My other input here is B. So what this gate does, let me switch colors again here. So on this line, I have, first input was A and B. It's an OR gate, so OR. My second input was B, so B. So this green line here is A and B or B. Now, this last gate is a NOT gate or an inverter. So it's just going to flip the value of what's going into it. Well, the thing going into it is A and B or B, sorry, or B. And so this gate is just going to take the negation of that, not that. So this whole circuit finds A and B, then it ors that result with B, and then it negates it. It takes the opposite of that. It inverts those zeros to ones and ones to zeros. So we can fill out the truth table for this, and it works the same way that our truth tables did before. So to figure this out, and notice here under my output, I have my entire statement, right? I totally missed there. Uh, so under A and B is where I'm going to start because it's the first thing I would do. Well, 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. And 1 and 1 is 1. Okay, referencing my basic logic gate truth tables or remembering that and is only true when both are true. So true and true, 1 and 1 is 1, everything else is 0. Now I'm going to go to this OR. So I'm going to take the OR of that thing we just did and B. So 0 or 0 is 0. 0 or 1 is 1. 0 or 0 is 0. And 1 or 1 is 1. Okay, so that's my output that far. And now I'm going to just take the NOT of that. I want NOT this thing. So I'm just going to flip each of those zeros to ones and ones to zeros. So not zero is one, not one is zero, not zero is one, and not one is zero. So here's what this circuit does. If the input is zero and zero, it outputs a one. If the input is zero and one, it outputs a zero. If the input is one and zero, it outputs a one. And if the input is 1 and 1, it outputs a 0. Okay, that's what this circuit does. Given my two inputs, the A and the B, if I know what A is, I know what B is, it does these things to it. Okay, let's look at one more. Assuming my thing works. Great. Okay, a little bit more complicated, but let's start at the beginning here. So here... I have A, and this is going into a NOT gate, so this output will be NOT A. Wow, I missed my A. Board's miscalibrated is what I'm going to tell people watching this video. That's you. Board's miscalibrated. It's too hard to, to draw correctly. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my next gate here, oh, I should have made this a different color to make this all pretty. What? not a okay my next gate here is an xor gate okay it looks like an or gate but it's got that extra swoosh on the back which makes it an xor so the inputs to this xor gate are not a is the top one and then b is the bottom one so coming out of this xor gate so on both of these lines is going to be not a is my first input XOR, 
and then B is my second input. Okay, so not A, X, or B is my output 1 to this uh, circuit. Now I want to look at my next thing. I guess I'm using red. This is a NAND gate. Okay, you know it's NAND because it has a little circle at the front of the AND gate. Its inputs are not A, X, or B right here. And then if I trace this line back, I see the dot, meaning that those lines cross. This is A. Whatever value A was is coming in here. So this bottom circuit is going to have as its output, well, its first input was not A, X, or B. It is a NAND gate. So NAND, so it's not AND, remember. Its second input was A, so A. So this is not A, X, or B, that value, and then NAND A. Okay, we can make the truth table for this thing. Let's do it. Uh, notice I had two outputs on that last slide. So my top output was not A, X, or B. So I'm going to figure out not A, X, or B. And then my other input, go back, thank you, was not A, X, or B, NAND A, not A, X, or B, NAND A. Okay, so not A. A uh, is just the negation of that, so not 0 is 1, not 0 is 1, not 1 is 0, not 1 is 0. Okay, there's my not A column. Now I want not A X or B. So X or is true when one is true, or the other, but not both. So I want to look at this not A column, this B column, I'm looking for when exactly one of them is true, it's true, otherwise it's false. So I have one or zero, one of those is true, so one. One or one, no, that's not, not only one of them. Zero or zero, that's not only one of them. And zero or one, that is one of them. Okay, so one there. Uh, so zero, one, one, sorry, one, zero, zero, one. Now finally, for my last column, I want to do the NAND operation. Right, NAND, so I need to look at my NAND table, which remember was one, 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 zero, because it's the opposite of AND. Okay, I want to look at not A, X, or B, so this thing, and A, so that guy. So I want one NAND zero, one NAND zero, one, there's one, great. I want to look at 0, NAND 0, 0, NAND 0 is 1, so 1. I want to look at 0, NAND 1, 0, NAND 1 is 1, so 1. And I want to look at 1, NAND 1, 1, NAND 1 is 0, so 0. So here is what this circuit does. Okay, it's the full picture of what the circuit, or at least this part of it does. If I put 0 on A and 0 on B in there, I get out 1. If I put 0 on A and 1 on B, I get out 1. If I put zero or 1 on A and 0 on B, I get 1. And if I put 1 on A and 1 on B, I get 0. That is what this circuit does.